Glastonbury, I had to go as a girl. Part 2. I was on my way to Glasto, but dressed as a pretty girl, Charlotte. I had to be James, girlfriend. I had got my dream come true, to go to the Glastonbury Festival. Something I had wanted to do for years. The only problem was, I would have to be a girl for the whole of the festival. Not only that, I, had to be my mate James' girlfriend, Charlotte. I would also have to share a double sleeping bag with him, and they can be quite cosy and intimate. Still, it was the only way I could get there, and James and his girlfriend Charlotte had made me up to be such a pretty girl. We had everything packed in James's car, and Charlotte gave me her suitcase, that she had packed, with everything she would have needed for the trip. Until she broke her leg, and I was now to go in her place. We said our goodbyes to Charlotte and headed off down the motorway to the southwest of England. It was a long trip, but I enjoyed sitting in the passenger seat watching the countryside going by, in my little mini dress. It was a hot day, and I had the window open, I loved how my hair was blowing around. After a few hours, we made a stop at the services for a toilet break and some refreshments. I was dying for the toilet, and I nearly followed James into the gents, but he quickly directed me towards the ladies, and there was such a long queue. By the time I got to a cubicle my legs were crossed and held together like a pincer movement. I had hardly put the bolt on the door, before I could feel it coming. I whipped my dress up at the back, panties down and just made it. I let out a longer as it kept coming and coming. I was so relieved as I finished. I wiped myself like a girl and headed out to fix my lipstick and make sure my hair looked good. I had started feeling more like a girl than a boy, and I started to like being a girl. I went back out and found James waiting for me, I thought, he looked so good. So, I went over, put my arms around his neck, kissed him and said, you look so hot, James. He pushed me away and an old lady said to him. She's only trying to be nice honey. Sorry Charlotte he said, and he kissed me back. That's better the old lady said. Why did you do that Charlotte, he said to me. It was just a bit of fun dear, now you're my boyfriend. Isn't that what lovers do? The thing was, I liked kissing him and I think he liked kissing me too. He caught hold of my hand, and we went to get something to eat and drink. We sat at a table to eat, and James said, I suppose we will have to pretend we're a couple, just while we're on the trip. I took hold of his hand across the table and said of course dear, it's just between you and me. The other Charlotte doesn't have to know. I leaned over the table and gave him another kiss. He didn't pull away this time. You do look good as a girl, Charlotte. James said. We better get going now though, Charlotte dear, if we're to get to Glastow. James held my hand all the way back to the car and he opened the car door for me. Once we were on our way, James kept looking at me. I was playing with my dress and raising the hem up showing my panties. I could see James was getting excited, by what I was doing. I put my hand on his knee and ran it up the inside of his thigh. Oh James, I said, you're so big. I thought, what would a girlfriend do to help her boy out? Well, I gave him a Lewinsky. He had such a big smile on his face after but said nothing. We were quiet for the remainder of the journey, but I could feel our relationship had changed. I knew he fancied me, and the feeling was mutual. Here was I dressed as his girlfriend Charlotte, and I was going to share a very small sleeping bag with him for the week. I was so excited to see how far our relationship would go. After queuing in the traffic jam for the festival site we eventually parked and unloaded all our belongings and camping gear onto a trolley. We couldn't keep our hands off each other any longer, and we embraced and kissed passionately, before pulling the trolley into the queue for the festival entrance. As we got to the security gate, I wondered if I would get through. Would I look convincing as Charlotte? The security guard was a heavily built six foot something. He towered over me. I was only a five feet, six inch, dwarf compared to him. He looked at me and said, ID young lady. I handed him my entrance ticket with Charlotte's photo. 
He looked me up and down, and I gave him my best girly smile. Okay miss, you can go. I was so relieved, as James, and I continued into the festival site and headed for the camping ground. James found a nice level spot and we started to erect our tent. It was such a small tent, I wondered how we would fit in it. Once the tent was up, James had a mattress which he put in the tent and blew it up. It almost filled the tent. James spread the double sleeping bag on the mattress, and we got our luggage in. There was no room to move. We would have to crawl in every night on our hands and knees. There was no place to stand or do much at all. James said, let's get in and see what it's like. We crawled in and he zipped the tent up. We both lay down on the airbed and I knew this was definitely going to be cosy. James was almost on top of me. We both turned to face each other, and it wasn't long before we were kissing. His hands were roaming everywhere, I liked his attention so much. But I wanted to see the festival. James, I said, let's go look around the festival site. Before things get out of hand. All right he said begrudgingly. I started to crawl out, and his hands went up my dress feeling my bum cheeks. Patience honey, I said, there's plenty of time, we're here for days. I almost fell out of the tent to get away. James held me around the waist, as we walked to the entertainment area, squeezing my bum as we went. I wanted him to make love with me so much, but I desperately wanted to see the show. There were three main stage areas, which we looked around and listened to several of the performers. The big acts wouldn't be playing until tomorrow, so we headed to the fun fair. James took me on so many rides, the waltzes, I had to hold my dress down on that one. The bumper cars were so good, I let James drive, he was hell on wheels. The big wheel was so high but great fun with me snuggled up to James. Then James took me on the ghost train. I didn't think I would be afraid, but I was wrong. I was screaming and clinging onto James like a little girl. He loved making me scream. He even won me a big teddy bear on the rifles. How it would fit in the tent, I don't know. After the fairground we decided it was time to get a drink, alcohol of course. We found a large tent with a bar. It was full of hundreds of revelers drinking away. I found a seat for me and Teddy while James went to get some drinks. The queue was so long he came back with two drinks each, two beers for him and two cocktails for me. I think he wanted to get me drunk. I don't know what was in my first cocktail, but it was quite strong. We sat and started chatting. James asked me, Charlotte have you ever had a girlfriend? I had a feeling I knew where this was leading, but I told the truth. No never I replied. Why not James asked. You have always been such a fun guy to be with and I have always liked you. I told him, I like girls James, as friends, but I've always fancied boys, and especially you. I just never had the nerve to tell you. You always seem to have girlfriends anyway, so I didn't take it any further with you than a mate. It was only when I dressed as Charlotte, I realized how much I wanted to be a girl and that's why I kissed you. I could see James not knowing what to say to me. I finished my second cocktail, and I gave James some money to get some more. He eventually returned with two more each, and we drank away. We were both getting a bit tipsy by then. James then told me. I've always liked you as a mate Charlotte but when you dressed as a girl and kissed me, something felt so different to me. I realized that it was you I wanted and that the girls had just been a charade, so that I would look good. I never felt the same attraction with a girl that I feel with you. With that I moved Teddy out from between us, moved closer to James and kissed him so passionately. It was like fireworks between us. It was like nobody else was in the room. We quickly finished our drinks as James grabbed my hand and we were heading straight back to the tent. Every few yards we would stop kiss and fondle each other. We were both so excited. When we got to the tent, the zipper was up in no time and James' hands were on my bum cheeks as he followed me in. I said, James wait a minute. 
I opened the suitcase that Charlotte had given me and there was a lovely pink silky and very see-through baby doll nighty. I turned my back to James, who by now was naked in the sleeping bag. I quickly took everything off and put the nighty on. I slipped in beside him and we kissed. I could feel his hands on my false breasts, while mine were feeling him. He rolled me over and Yahoo, kabam, and OMG. What is going to happen next at Glastow? If you like my stories, please give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. 250 likes for part 3. Story written and produced by Phil Gurley.